Okay, so I've had to re-record this video. So here is how I created this lock-on effect in Vegas Pro 21. Now, this effect is actually really easy to do, especially in Vegas Pro 21, because all you need to do is just get yourself the mocker Vegas, import it into your video, and then launch the mocker UI inside of Vegas Pro. Now, once you're inside of the Mocha Vegas, through here, you can get yourself the circle shape tool. You want to draw it around the person's head. And from here, you only want to select the transform and scale. We only want to track the location of the actual area. Now, once you start to track forwards, you may need to press spacebar when it starts to lose tracking or it's not as accurate. And then you just want to correct it up from there. And then once you're finished with your tracking, you can save it, close it down and get back into Vegas Pro. You want to go to the video effects and click on the tracking data. Through here, you want to go to create track. You will see the name of your layer in here and you just want to press OK. Now that you've got yourself the keyframes, you want to go to apply export and we're going to apply it to the video by clicking the drop down arrow and add it to freeze motion effects. And what this will do is it will move the keyframes over to the video stabilization. And then in the video stabilization effect, you want to set the user view to professional. This will give you a bunch of options, which allows you to do things like changing the reference frame. You can change the auto zoom, additional zoom, and so much more. Now, if you wanted to, you can also enable the grid. And if you wanted to move the person directly in the center, you would open up the additional translation and move the crosshair to the center of the screen. Now the zoom is designed to specifically be there in case your video or person goes outside of the frame. So let's say for example, if you're focusing on the person or the person's head, sometimes the person might move outside of the frame and you'll see the black borders. If you add in the auto zoom or additional zoom, this will fix that just by simply zooming into the person's head or wherever the subject is. You can also change the reference frame, which will allow you to specifically focus on a different frame for your tracking and this is helpful if you're looking to get a slightly different perspective or a slightly different frame which is better as a reference. Now another problem that you may run into is the black borders and if you still see the black lines then you may also need to go into the pan slash crop and in here just zoom in and add in some manual keyframes to fix those areas. And that is pretty much how you create the lock-on effect in Vegas Pro 21. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in that next video.